Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do the pet tag or the furry friend tag. I've seen it called both ways. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know, I have two cats. One I think you can kind of see over here. Um, and it's going to be kind of difficult to actually like keep them in the video the whole time because they don't really like each other that much. But you'll get to know them more as I answer these questions. So let's get started. All right, so the first question is, what is your pet's name? So... I have this little cat over here, and she's Abby, and I'm gonna try to get the other one for you guys. So this little guy over here, or should I say big guy, this is Oliver. So number two is what kind of pet is it and what breed? Obviously they're cats, um, and they're both just regular American short hair. The other one's a black and white one, and this one is a tabby. Number three is how long have you had your pet friend? So I have had Oliver for eight years and Abby for seven years. I guess that's kind of why they don't really get along. Like this one was around for a year before we got the other one. And basically, he did not like that very much. <laughs> Number four is, how did you get your pet? So both of them were actually adopted from ASPCA. I like to adopt cats, and especially adult cats, because I feel like a lot of times people just go there for the kittens, and a lot of times the adult cats just get left there. So I got both of them as adults, and yeah, I'm really happy I did. You're happy too, huh? Number five is, how old is your pet? So Oliver is nine years old, and Abby is eight. Number six is, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Uh, well, Oliver over here, he's quite a bully. <laughs> he definitely bullies Abby, so I always have to keep an eye on them. Um, he's a little lazy, he likes to eat a lot, and... <laughs> He just loves attention. Um, at ASPCA, when you go to adopt a cat, they actually have like the cats in different categories. So you could find one that kind of like fits the kind of cat you're looking for. And he was in the love bug category. So basically he just loves attention. He's very like, just loves people and yeah. He's a little love bug. Okay, so I managed to get Abby back. And basically, Abby is the scaredy cat, which you guys could probably tell. She gets scared of everything. Like, sometimes she could just be laying with me, and if I, like, sneeze or cough, she gets scared and runs away. But she loves being with me. Like, she follows me everywhere. And she definitely stays with me a lot more than Oliver. Oliver will just love attention from anyone. Abby only likes to be with me. I don't know what Abby went through before she was like rescued and adopted, but I definitely think she went through some kind of traumatic experience because she's just so scared of everything. And also like when we got her, they had just treated her for like a really, really bad eye infection that apparently she had when they found her. And so because of that, she actually didn't have fur around her eyes. And through the years, it has like kind of grown back a bit, but not 100%. Um, but yeah, I still think she looks super cute. Number seven is what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? I mean, obviously it means a lot to me. They're my babies. Um, but yeah, I just feel like we keep each other company. Like I love dogs, but I feel like they crave a lot of attention, whereas cats, you can kind of just let them be. So I like that because although I'm home a lot, like I'm usually doing stuff, so I can just be doing my things and they'll be around me, but I don't have to be like petting them all the time. So it's just a great relationship. It just works. So number eight is what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? I mean, we don't do much. They're cats, but basically they just keep me company. They're always laying around wherever I am. They are. And especially if I'm like on the computer or like watching something, then they'll be with me and they sleep with me, especially Abby. Like she'll literally like sleep like right on my arm, like under the covers with me. Um, so yeah, they basically just keep me company and I love it. And the last question is, what are nicknames that you call your pet? Honestly, there are way too many to name. Like I call them so many different things, like in English and in Portuguese. And sometimes I wonder if they still know their names, but they do still respond to their names. Uh, but yeah, just a bunch of things. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know my little pets. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.